We are going to be doing a bit of spring cleaning today because as you can see, this whole place is a mess. This is the aftermath of Mother's Day. We have flowers here. We have balloons that have already popped. These things everywhere. So, so many things to clean around the house. Look at this. We also have a pile of do not move me until I have unboxed you things. This is where we keep everything. I'm going to be trying to clean that later. We have more things to unbox over here. Ta-da! But I'm waiting for just a few more items to arrive so that I can clump it all together and unbox it at once. We also have like, okay, let me run. Ta-da! This whole mess of a room. These, I'm going to get a shelf to fix. Paperwork, work work. I have all of these things to sort out. Like, it's just, it's just a lot of clutter happening right now. And we also have my closet, which, my gosh, you will see later how much of a mess it truly is when I'm not filming inside it. Gosh, should I show you? Yeah, I think I'll show you. I'll show you later on. All right, guys, you always ask me about kasambahais here at home. And yes, we do have them. They are our angels who help us clean the house but they all have their different responsibilities. And so I try to make it easier for everyone in the family by buying things that help us. Like for example, Slater bought the pool robot to help us clean the pool, even though we have somebody who can technically clean the pool. It's just making it more efficient and making it faster. And I don't know if I'm making sense here at all, but since this house needs to be like spotless clean every single day because Slater has like monstrous allergies, it is a lot of work and it does require a lot of people. But instead of manual labor, we try to make it easier for them. So this is what I got to help with that process. This one, what is this? It's gonna help me clean? No way! Yes, it will, guys. It's actually a two-in-one item. Ah, look at this. How crazy. Oh my gosh. When I open this, Scotty will be livid. Because it is what you think it is. It's a robot vacuum cleaner. Now, usually when it comes to like tech items like this, I leave it up to Slater. But this one is actually my order. They sent it to me. And I will attempt to figure it out by myself, guys. I mean, you know, a girl's got to learn one day, somehow. We already have a robot vacuum cleaner, but this one they say is different because this one is a self-cleaning robot vacuum and it has a mop function. And Slater said we did buy the wrong robot vacuum because that was kind of like a, a sweeper. But since our house is tiles, we need a mopper and this is a mopper. This is what it looks like. It says Narwhal here, which is the brand of this robot vacuum. And there's a switch here. Ah, I see. Look at this, guys. This is to open the dustbin. <gasps> oh, look, a little brush. Cute. I guess that's to clean the filter. Ah, here you go. You can take it out so easily. There's a filter here. You know what I love? I love how there are like instructions written on every single part. So you're not like having to go to the manual to try to figure things out. Pretty cool. Let's try and turn it on. It's on guys. Blinking right now. Cool. The robot is starting up. Please use when the white indicator light keeps on. I guess this is the mop that it comes with. Cool, there are like four pieces here. Two attached to this base thing. Oh, and it's a Velcro, you can Velcro it on. Super cool. We also have these things. Oh, so is this attached here already? Oh, so I need to put it here. Okay, I get it, I get it. I get what you're going, robot. Narwhal installation. Update on narwhal, narwhal, narwhal. Oh my gosh, guys, look, I figured it out. I put the base here. The vacuum is already inside. See, I have the manual on. And now, I'm going to let it map the house. Start mapping. Please clear <gasps> obstacles on the floor mm. and keep doors open. Wow. The robot is moving backwards. Please clear the space behind. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so smart. <laughs> So this thing now is 
mapping out the house. Like it's figuring out which areas it should clean later, hopefully. So cool. All right guys, so we put all of these things that were on the floor, these things, we put it all on top so that the vacuum can kind of map out this area too. Best thing about it so far I see is that I was able to install it by myself. What? Yes. No, that's the best thing about you. Wow. What's the best thing about the vacuum bag? It's quiet. Ah. Oh, yeah. Because the other vacuum, you could hear it. Like when I was making breakfast and I'd have vlogs, you could hear it like on the like making static noise in the background. Like, shh. We are in my closet right now. And guys, it is a mess. All of these things I need to hang and put back inside my cabinet. This is what we're going to be cleaning up right now. Wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more. Need you here. More than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah. Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again? Hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time. I remember that it's over. Yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. Wow, this space is a lot cleaner. This is all cleared now. I put it back all in the cabinet. This is still a little bit messy, but I will fix that later. Now, I love my closet. It is, I feel like, a sanctuary where I can just come in here if I don't want anyone to disturb me, although that is a very rare occurrence. But sometimes I just like to camp out here. It's where my clothes are, all my makeup things are. So it's just a place for me to feel like comfortable and relaxed. It's a very Chris space in the Skypod. The only thing is I feel like it could use a little bit more cozy detail. So I'm thinking I might put a rug here. I might switch this out to something that includes like a backrest and I'm actually having it custom made already now. This this mirror used to be really really small and it wasn't really doing well for the space in fact it wasn't like full length enough I couldn't see myself full length and I'd have to step out into Slater's closet to see what I was wearing and so that small mirror is now here don't mind this mess I still have to fix this vanity area but that was a small mirror that used to be here and now we got this cute little mirror it's an arc one in this gold finish here at the side which is really pretty and this is from Mirora PH. It's a Cebu-based company that sells mirrors. And I feel like it already adds a little something something to this space. I'm also going to replace this couch. This used to belong to my home office. And I'm going to put the same like backrest couch here. And I'm going to switch this up. This is actually a carpet from Scott's room that he didn't like to use. And I'm trying to find out where to place this humidifier, or I mean dehumidifier so that it looks a little less cluttered here. But basically that's all I'm planning to do in my office space. Slater wants me to add lights or make the lights here brighter, but I feel like there's already so many lights and I'm just one person, you know? He wants me to switch this up too, to something like a little bit more grand, but I don't know, maybe it's a little bit too much for me. I'm just trying to think of a way to make the space a little bit more cozy, a little bit more homey. Now, usually this time I try my best to nap with Scotty, but you can hear He's not sleeping yet. He actually wants to play with me a lot. So um, we're walking past this room and the mapping of this vacuum, it's so dark here, I know, but the mapping has finished. You can see that the vacuum has returned to the base station. And I looked at the manual and it says it can now start cleaning. Start vacuuming. Pause. Press the start button to continue. Continue vacuuming. There you go. It's gonna start vacuuming now. And you know what? It is pretty quiet. Let's go inside my home office. Gosh, this place still like, it's looking like a mess. It needs an upgrade. And you can see I'm already sweating so much because I've been cleaning the whole day. This really needs a picker upper. I think this wall I'm going to change completely and I'm going to make it like white. Actually, the paint already arrived. It's outside. I'm just gonna like find a day here in my calendar where I can paint this wall my sister actually wants to help me which is pretty cool so it's gonna be like a diy thing 
this desk situation is also quite a mess. I think I might have over like outgrown this pink color over here. I'm gonna paint it to like a, an off-white, a creamy kind of color. And these paintings behind me, I think they have to go. I'm not sure what I wanna do with it yet, but I kind of want something a little bit more neutral, natural, nothing too shocking. And this is like a really shocking color. I mean, it's beautiful. It's just, I feel like I've outgrown it. So that's just a little update of where I want things to, to go. Um, I've also ordered a new couch because this one is like, it still works, but it's kind of caving already in the middle. So I need um, to make an upgrade so that like in the future when Scotty's bigger, like he can jump on the couch with me, he can chill here while I'm working. Oh my goodness. Someone doesn't want a nap and discovered the new vacuum. <laughs> Look at that face. No, Scotty, it's new. <laughs> He's so happy there's a new vacuum. <clears throat> no, Scotty, please. All right, guys, this is another massive cleanup we need to do. Hi, babe. Uh, what is this mess of your room? What mine? Wow, camera. Can you hold on to the camera for mommy? I need to get another camera. Can you hold on for mommy? This is selfie mode. Selfie mode. Hello, Scotty. Books are back in place. Scotty's nap bed is all clear. His playpen and all of the toys I have reorganized. So usually, as I said before, I will put different toys here per week. So now we have his two favorite trucks. This thing that is a hand-me-down from my nephew. Um, Scotty loves it. We have his blocks here and his stuffed animals and some random things that he likes to play with. So these are all here. We don't really have spring in the Philippines, but I guess this video is all about like trying to make whatever space you have feel a little bit more cozy, a little bit more homey, a little bit more okay for you to use. I think having a clean space just promotes a more energetic vibe, positive vibe. If you are in a space that it's super cluttered, you kind of aren't inspired to work or be productive or live your best life. Sometimes it is so daunting and intimidating to go into a room that's like filled with so much mess. Let's say a closet that has not been cleaned in so long. Just the start of cleaning it is already so intimidating. But I feel like if you just put your mindset to fixing it, like give yourself a day or two to clean out everything, it will really also clear your mind space. I myself, if I find myself in a messy room or a room that isn't to my liking, like design wise, it's harder for me to get into the groove of working. And so I always make sure to spend time cleaning around, not just my own space, but the space of my family members too, like Scotty and even Slater. I'm going to go play with Scotty now, but I want to show you before we go, like where I put all of the big cluttery stuff from the robot vacuum that I just got. Like you saw how big that box was. It came in two boxes, but now I just put it all in zippies. And zippies, my gosh, are such a good way to organize things. I use them for food. I use them for like, storing my makeup when I travel, not that I will travel anytime soon, but it can also store like stuff like this. And then you can like add a label here, like a Dymo label or whatever. So you know where everything is. And this is where I store the mops for the vacuum. Ta-da, super cool. And I also I store this magnetic strip. So apparently this magnetic strip, you can put it anywhere that you don't want the vacuum to go to and it will avoid that area. So I think I'm gonna put it in the crevices that it keeps getting stuck in by the window. And it also comes with like extra cleaning things. Pretty cool, I am enjoying it so far, but you guys will see in my future vlogs if we really do end up using it more and more or not. That's how I organize this. Guys, hello from future Chris. What do you think of the sidebar? 
<laughs> oh my gosh, it's been so long since I parted my hair like this. My nephew is definitely gonna call me a boomer for having this hairstyle. But I wanted to show you that we've been using the narwhal for I think three to four days at this point, and I'm going to take out the dust bit and see how much dust has been collected. Hmm, this is the first time I'm gonna check it out. Okay, let's see how this baby has done. Oh my god, ew. Guys, you see that? Look at how dirty that is and all the dust it's collected. So much hair and like there are eggshells here. There are vegetables here. Do you see that? Let me see. Make sure it's focused. You know what? Let me go to the brighter part of this house so I can really show you how incredibly crazy this is. All right, guys, look at the amount of dust this thing has collected. Okay, now I'm going to try to use the mop function. Let me put this here for now. I put it all in the zippy, as you remember, which I've stored here. So this is all the mop stuff. Let's go insert it now into the vacuum and see. So, all I have to do, I think, is remove this. How? Ooh! So easy. Just literally pull it out. And literally just put them in. Before we do the mopping function, I need to put water here. So you can see that this says clean water and this other one says waste water. And so I'm gonna put clean water here, and when it's finished mopping, it's gonna go here to this wastewater. Hi. Mm. Say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. I'm going to fill this up in your baño. Okay. Because we're gonna mop the floor. Cleaning lady today. Yes, madam. Look at this massive water tank. You're supposed to put detergent here, but I don't think I got detergent from them, so it's just gonna be water. Maybe it's just ordinary detergent. No, it says in the manual you have to use the narwhal detergent. Oh. Pause. Press the start button to wash Ooh, the mop. Ooh, okay. We need to get this out though. So nothing's on the floor, Dapat. Nothing's on the floor. Wow, hardworking ni madam. Yeah, I know. I'm going to hide this first. <laughs> Oh, it's cleaning the mop thing. Hey, you know what? I really love that it has this LCD thing and I don't have to like get my phone. Yeah. Is it mopping? Oh, it's mopping! That's so cool. You see that? It says mopping and it's turning around. I think it's... <gasps> oh, the floor is wet. Sky, shoo! Go away! It's mop... Literally, it's mopping the floor, guys. Oh my god, I'm shook. I'm shook. You see it? There's a trail of wetness and it's traveling in a straight line. You can see the trail of wetness. That noise outside, it's drilling. It's Harold, our gardener. But it's not the mop. The mop is so quiet. Okay, while the narwhal is doing its thing, I am going to wrap Harold's gift. It's his birthday tomorrow, see? In my calendar, it says, Harold's birthday. That's the only agenda for tomorrow that I've written on my calendar so far. And he's the guy who was playing the music outside, the gardener who was drilling a hole. So anyway, it's his birthday tomorrow. I got him. This is super like not part of my cleaning vlog already, but I got him <laughs> two dry fit shirts. Just arrived in Shopee yesterday and usually he's the one who opens our Shopee packages. So I said like, okay, here's the money to pay for the Shopee order, but do not open the package. Like, do not open it. <laughs> He's probably wondering, like, what is she buying? Drugs? <laughs> but it's his gift. So I'm gonna wrap it today. Uh, I'm gonna choose a wrapper for him. We have these really cute wrappers. Um, I'm gonna put a link down below to where I got these, but they say SkyFam. Super cute. They also have different designs. See? Super duper cute. But I think for Harold, like, let's go for something more masculine. Go to something special. This is my ribbon basket. So you can find so many different ribbons here. These are actually all recycled from, well, people send me gifts all the time, like especially if it's a sponsor, like a press kit or Christmas gifts or birthday gifts. I will recycle all of the ribbons so I can reuse them. And I don't think that's like something to be ashamed of because you're actually saving the world, guys. Look at all these ribbons I can reuse. I always take time to wrap. <laughs> 
gifts for Mexican Bahais. Number one, because, and this is gonna be a weird toe action here. I do this all the time. Sorry guys, if you receive a gift from me, my foot has touched it. <laughs> but yeah, I receive gifts all the time and I want the people around me to receive gifts too and like, you know, feel the same way I feel because it's always nice to receive a gift, not for the material thing that you're getting, but because you know that somebody is out there thinking of you. And so this is for Harold's special day. Let's check on that mop, shall we? You guys, I don't even know where it is because it's so quiet. Like, usually with our old mop, I mean our old vacuum, I knew exactly where it was. Where is it? So when you're like using this kind of mop or robot vacuum, you need to make sure like there are no crevices like this. It's gonna get stuck there or like loose wires. Like these, you gotta clean it. And then, there, so it's mopping again. Okay, I will not bore you anymore, so I will check back in with you later. Whoa, guys, that was so fast. I wasn't able to show you like the after of the mopping because it just returned to the base station immediately and now it's washing itself. Like literally, I was just in my office working and then I heard it go back to the base station. <gasps> so I couldn't show you the after, but I will show you the water, what it looks like after. Just needed to like soak the mops in again. Wow. So cool, like I don't even have to do anything. I'm just here like observing. It went vertically, right? And then it went back to the base station. Oh, you're here. And then now from the base station after wetting itself, it went back here and now it's cleaning it horizontally. <gasps> I like it. Guys, okay, it's returning again to the base station. I pressed pause because I wanna see what the mop looks like under after it mopped this whole area. Ooh, ew! I thought it wouldn't look this bad because it already washed itself, but look, love, look! It's dirty, yuck! This is the clean water. You can see how clean it is and that there's only half in the tank left. And this is the wastewater. <gasps> look at that, it's so dirty. That is all the dirt that this mop has picked up. And the whole time I was busy working and living my life and I didn't even have to do anything. Okay, that is all from Future Chris. Let's go back to the video. And while we are in the kitchen, let me show you guys how like organizing this whole kitchen space has really also helped me or inspired me to continue cooking and like every morning it's kind of like my zen thing to make something for my family here. I think this is the third time I've reorganized my kitchen space but it is just really so important for me again to Make sure everything is like my aesthetic. So you can see here, I have these glass jars. I decanted all of my spices into them. Slater was like, I can't believe you have the patience to individually like take them out of their containers and put them here. But look how pretty. And it even says like Skypod and what herb it is. And they're even like top labels. So you can see like no matter how you store it, if you store it in a drawer, you can see from top view what it is because all these stickers are here. Or front view if you store it like this. And it also matches like all of my other containers which is super cool. These are from the same brand. I will put all the links down below so you guys can check it out if you are interested. I'll also put a link down below to me organizing my kitchen so you guys can check that out. But I just find like having small things like this really changes your space. You guys should try it too. I highly, highly recommend that you guys try it too. Say goodbye to Scotty. See that? He was not in the mood today, but this golf club will bring him joy. I know. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!